The next wave, change, opportunity, growth, is providing full service to our guests. What can full service do for Haas's? It will give the restaurant a more relaxed atmosphere, less noise, less stress, fun and casual dining. It is an opportunity to give better service to our guests, to eliminate confusion at the menu boards, allow us to sell different menu items to our guests, letting them experience the great flavors and value of our entire menu, to eliminate incorrect orders, to deliver the experience the guest is expecting. Whether that means quick service or relaxed dining, it is all about reading our guests and knowing what they need and what they want. The ability to draw new guests to our restaurants. The change is coming our way. Let's take a peek at one location already providing full service to our guests. We were all very nervous to start, but after I'd say a week or two, you get into the groove. It's better for us, it's better for the guests, um, it's a no-brainer. It, it really is. The atmosphere is much more casual, more relaxed. The guests get seated. We come over, we introduce ourselves. I was nervous when we started full service. I've been with Hosses for 11 years, so you definitely get into your routine of doing stuff, but you get to have so much more interaction with your table. You know exactly what everybody's getting, and it's just so much better overall. And I think the rest of the servers have noticed our gratuity has changed. I am definitely making more money than I was making before. Tips have seemed to get better. The percentage has actually gone up, and you actually, you know, you're in control of your table, so you get a chance to uh, to upsell a little bit more than you could before, you know, because you that was on the block person to sell mushrooms and loaded loaded toppings and, and add-ons and appetizers. Now that's on you to, to upsell your checks. Another good thing about it is uh, you are in control of the timing of your food. You put it in whenever the customer is ready. If they want to go up to get salad bar and they're not ready for their food, you can personally ask them when they want you to put it in. Instead of up front, it could be messed up, but you personally know it. Very good. And the financial part of it is much better. Yes. Um, the guests have loved it. It's just better for everyone. It's better for me as a server because I know what they're ordering. I know where their drinks go. I know where the meals are going. I know who ordered what. I'm not standing there saying, oh, I have a 12 ounce medium rare and half the time people aren't paying attention. They took the wrong meals. It works much better. While you're taking the orders at the table, you're getting that interaction with them. You know, pushing the appetizers. And you're in control of everything. So offer the loaded toppings, offering the mushrooms, boosting your checkup. What I like about full service, you do have more control over your tables, you have more control over your check, um, your checks, you can do all your upgrades, your mushrooms, your loaded baked potatoes, loaded french fries. The guest gets to sit at the table and relax while looking over the menu rather than being rushed if there's a line behind you. And, and that's nice for the guests too because when they were taking their orders up front, some of them might have had questions, but when you're feeling pressured like that, just to get through like the line and get seated, they might not have asked questions before. Whereas now if they're sitting there, they'll say, oh, this is new on the menu, what is this? Or how does this taste? Or, oh, maybe I'll try that instead. They really enjoy uh, looking at different items, like they don't even know some of the things we have now. It gives them a better opportunity to look at the menu and, and, and see everything we have on there. Uh, it seemed like in the past they felt pressured to order up front, where now they get a chance to sit down and actually take a look at the menu and see things that they never even knew we had before. Guests actually ask me, oh, is this a new item? And it's actually something we've had on the menu for years, but they never even realized we had it because they were used to just coming in and ordering the same old thing that they got every time. I'm positive. Yes, very positive. They, they really like it because they don't have to stand and hurry up and get their, to order. They can take their time and look at the menu. It's a lot, it's a lot more relaxed atmosphere now. The, the guests aren't as rushed to get them in and out. The, it's more of a relaxed environment. There seems like uh, less problems now, less irritated guests. I like it a lot more. Um, it's, you can actually have more personality now, interact with the guests better, 
making a lot more money than I did with the orders up front. Just the more interaction you have with your guests. If you only have three tables and it's slow and you have to have more servers on, it's spend more time with your guests, do more things for them. Um, it's been a great, a great experience overall. I was, I'm very happy now. We've been doing it for a little over a month and it's going wonderful. Nothing slowed down. It's just as fast as it was. They can still get back in 30 minutes on their lunch break. Nothing has changed. Favorite part of full service? Probably just being totally in control of my table. You know, uh, from, from order to, to when they walk out the door, everything's on you. I love it. I would never want to go back. I, I feel that uh, when our guests come in the door, they come up to greeting center. Um, I think it's a more calmer atmosphere as far as when our guests are seated. Um, they're seated quickly. Uh, there's there's really no waiting up here unless it's like a busy Saturday night and there may be a 10, 10 minute wait. What we do is once we're full, how many ever uh, servers we have, one of, once those zones are full, uh, we don't want to overload our servers. So what we do is um, we go to a waiting list we actually have a list where we take down the guest last name. Um, as a manager, um, honestly, I have to be out in the dining room at least 90% of the time. Um, and a lot of that, too, is just, you know, um, helping out the servers whenever they need it. You know, um, as far as bussing tables or um, getting drinks, delivering meals. We have found that um, our table turnover it, actually came down when we first started this it was probably up around 55 minutes and now we have it down about 45 minutes which I think is about what it was when we were taking the orders of the greeting center. Overall it's been really positive. I've had very few complaints. I've had all pretty much all positive comments. Um, you know we want to get them in and get them seated and, and our guests seem to like that. So. It has more of a feel of like a true sit-down restaurant like obviously it is a sit-down restaurant you have your food brought to you and there's you know but it has more of that feel now that they have menus and the, the tablecloths and everything well I was kind of surprised because I was like there's a menu because I had told him and you just don't be worried you go in and you order at the post to stand when you first come in and then they like took us to a table right away with a menu and it was like oh this is different yeah it was really nice though because you know I know I always have a little bit of a hard time choosing what I want to eat when I go out to eat and uh, having the menu being able to kind of sit down and not be on the spot is uh, really helpful. Yeah. yeah, I will say that because the first time I ever went to Ohasa's I was like, oh I have to order here and then I'm like, okay, pick something fast because I don't want to, there was like people behind me, I'm like, I don't want to take up their time and this was like, okay, go in, you're relaxed, you can sit down, browse through things, there's yeah. no rush. Our server was really nice and you know helpful, like making suggestions. And I feel like if you're already picking at the counter, you don't necessarily get that kind of interaction. Because that's one of the things I love is like the every single one of the hostels I've been to, the customer service is terrific, and the um, servers are always like so friendly, so nice, and that really gave them. I think that gives them more credit that they're actually able to be there with you the whole time and be taking your order. And I think you notice that more than just you know. They come out and they know you ordered something and they bring it to you as opposed to like, oh, and here's your this that you ordered, you know, here's your steak or here's your burger. Well, I mean, for me, I think uh, it's definitely a good opportunity to, you know, build more rapport with the customers. You know, it's, uh, that was our experience here and, uh, you know, it was really nice. You know, we got to talk with the server a little bit more and, you know, she was very friendly and helpful. And I think, you know, it's a great opportunity to kind of showcase that more. The guest perspective in this video is from Fox and Michael and their blog 101 Achievements. Fox travels quite often and frequents many host locations. A tweet from their blog, there should be a national PSA about the process of ordering and being seated at a hosses so no one stands there confusedly like I just did. Fox, who loves hosses, wanted to share her experience with Michael and this brought them to Murraysville where quote, they were in a super fancy hosses. They have real menus. So we want to thank Fox and Michael for being a part of this message and sharing their love of hosses. And in Michael's words, this isn't heaven, this is hosses.